match between David Palmer receiving, Rami Ashour to serve. Five games. Love on. $20,000 will go to the winner of this Pace Canadian Squash Classic, Rami Ashour from Egypt in the white, seated sixth in the event, 19 years old against the number two and second in the world, David Palmer from Australia in the blue and black. Already we see Rami Ashour taking the attack to David Palmer. Bring it. Happy bringing the ball into the front of the court, flicking it to a length. Hand out. Well, that was a very casual oh, wow. mistake from Rami Ashour, but that's his style. He can also very casually hit the ball into the net. Ashour made his share of unforced errors in his semi against Anthony Ricketts before beating the Australian in four games. Yeah, that really was a great result. Rick has really looked throughout the whole tournament that he was playing great squash. Very difficult man to beat. Earlier, we had a chance to talk to both players about what kind of game they were expecting from each other. So, Martin, we can see two different strategies. Palmer really focusing on his own inner abilities and trying to prevent Rami, obviously, from getting to the front of the court. And Rami, well, he just seems to be happy to play whatever shot comes his way. As we get back to the match, Palmer now with a 2-1 lead here in game one. Well, I think that's something that's going to happen a lot in this match. Rami Ashour really has great reach. Oh, he got there. He was on the other wall. You see how much these guys, they anticipate and they volley almost everything in the middle of the court. Stroke to Ashour. So hard to get it past these guys. The stroke given, so we're tied at two. Where's the game going to be won or lost? What part of the court? Difficult to actually pick a part of the court. I would say that um, you obviously have to be quite patient. You can't really attack into the front of the court too early, obviously, because these, the movement of both these guys is phenomenal. And they're just going to run onto it and hit a winning shot immediately if you hit a loose shot to the front. So Good save off the back wall. I would say in this, with two great athletes like this, it really is who can control the middle of the court. But honestly, both these guys, they, there's not many weaknesses between these guys at all, if any. So it really is going to come down to the big points and who can physically last a, a really hard five-set match. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Have to put the racket through the, the wall to get that. Ashur now has three. the lead. He gave up the first two points, has scored three in a row. Again, tight shot from Palmer. And now. Well, that's one area of the, area of the court that is going to produce a lot of winners. If these guys can hit the ball tight to the wall in this glass court, it's so difficult to dig it off the wall. This is the third game between these two. And they've split the two games. That's right, David Palmer scoring a victory in May of last year in, in Liverpool. And that was a Stroke quick Ashur. three games. And, uh, but really, Remy Ashur now has improved so much over the last ball. six or eight months. And then Ashur winning in October of last year, the Hong Kong Open in a match that went 55 points. Stroke to Ashur. Ashur, 6-5. At that time, uh, David Palmer had just won the World Championships in Egypt. So that was a huge result. But he's proven it time and time again. He's not a one-hit wonder, this guy. He's reaching the finals, semi-finals consistently. Very exciting for squash, squash fans all over the world. Oh, oh good. beautiful. <laughs> and he leads, a sure lead, 7-5. Wow, the power that Ashur generates from high backhand. 
torques his body, Eight flicks five. his wrist. And we made the point as well. Watch the way he does turn his shoulders in much the same way as a golfer will turn his shoulders Nine making a, a swing. Well, he's, he's, he's got the technique, very natural technique as well, but he's got all the, all the answers. He knows how to brush across the ball, come over it, get under the ball as he did there on that drop shot. Really, for a 19-year-old guy, he's got all the shots in the book. There's an attacking opportunity now. Well, the quality of this oh, first game is phenomenal. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's got him, he's got him. No, he doesn't. Great save. Oh, look Not at that. that. Once again, tight another again. one, tight another again. one, another one. Come on, one more. Oh, he goes to the other side. He held his racket until the last moment, thought he'd come straight back, and he went to the left wall. Very nice. Just rolled his wrist over that ball. Very deceptive. So I sure serving for game one. Well, Palmer hasn't really done too much wrong in this game. Yeah, he finds himself four four points adrift now. Palmer down by four. It's ten six. This is game ball for a sure. Palmer trying to get a bit of length. So difficult to hit a winner against both these guys. Oh, oh well, oh, they oh, oh, oh. Palmer did exactly the same as Assure did to him in the last rally. But Assure got there. Wow, this is a great variety of play from both players. Oh, look at that. Where are you going to go? Wow. Great. Both of them using that back wall. Yes, Lat. Yes, oh. Do it again, fellas. Do it again. Uh, this game really has all the shots. David Palmer not content just to hit the ball at the back of the court. Doesn't, doesn't want to contain his young opponent too much. He wants to express his own skills. This glass court really does take a good short shot. Tight to the wall. Well, I think Ashur might have scooped that off the off the wall. No call from Palmer though. Oh, 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 oh. One more. Just well, this is something that characterized Ricketts' match with Ashur yesterday. So difficult to hit a winner. Gets everything back. So frustrating to play against. Gotta be down. And again he no, gets he it back. No, he got there. One more at this time. <laughs> wow. Well, it has to be absolutely perfect to hit a winner against this young guy from Egypt, Rami Ashur. Palmer stays alive. He's trails by three, still game ball for Ashur. It's tight again. Palmer really doesn't want to get on top of that ball and crack it cross court because I know he knows how well Rami Ashur can cut the ball off. Such a great reach. Well, this is perfect squash from both players. And he they gets got him. cross court flick. So 19 year old Rami Ashur in his first Pace Classic final is one game up on world number two, David Palmer. With a beautiful cross court flick, dying in the back corner. More when we come back on TSN. Two games to love, love all. It's been a dominating match so far for Rami Ashur, winning 11-7 and 11-3. And now one game away from winning oh. his first major and $20,000. And what a start. And one love. Look at Palmer. I mean, Palmer just has to smile. Well, he's smiling at that. was the phenomenal three-ball boast into the neck. But really, he's... Really has to do something to stop the rot here. Ashur, Ashur has just been allowed to play his game. Having a phenomenal day. He's really expressing himself. Getting everything back like that. And that. Palmer just can't figure him out. Is that it? Or Palmer just doesn't have the game to beat him? Well, that's possible. I mean, it, it does happen every now and again that when someone just has a phenomenal game, it's very difficult to compete against them. I mean, that's... 
happens in every sport. But that's where you, you know, he's a great professional, Palmer. He's, he's won matches like this before, obviously. I mean, he just has to keep doing the right things, keep hoping that Ashur doesn't pick up those sort of kind of balls, doesn't keep hitting the nick. Oh, well, that's uh -huh. amazing. Yeah. Half volley from his feet. Rolls over the ball, pushes it in at the neck. And Palmer is uh, two and three steps too late. 2 1, Ashur, here in game three. Well, I've seen Roger Federer at tennis in tennis have days like this where he's almost laughing at how good he is himself. Well, the point is, are we looking at somebody comparably to Federer here in him? Well, and he's 19, let's give it. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Give him some time, but is that the potential in him? That dominance here? Well, he's obviously something very special. I mean, that is it's very exciting for the squash world to have someone like this in the sport. And you, it just doesn't happen that, that you get a 19 year old guy, the current world junior champion, coming and winning a major PSA oh, event. Oh, goodness. How he held the racket for as long as he did. Yeah, that was it. He had a little head fake. And that just shows you what kind of options he's got from all these areas. He can do anything from that position. There's that power again. High backhand from Ashur. Uh. Oh, well. Now, this was something that you pointed out. Sometimes... 8-4 is sure. Palmer has a habit of maybe not bending his knees as quite as much not getting underneath. Was that a case there? Yeah, I think that was actually. Yeah, I mean, it's, it certainly is. Uh, this tournament is uh, mid-court in the backhand hasn't been the strongest area. That is just phenomenal. Get retrieval. there. Yeah. Save yourself playing off the back wall. More than once we've seen that from him. And, wow. and look at the frustration of David Palmer. Well, I think Palmer just realizing. I think the point that got us sure to 8-4, that mistake in the backhand. Really, you could see in his face that pretty much knew that it just wasn't his day. He's, got, he's been at the final of this event oh. once before, but never won this one, and it doesn't look as though that's going to happen here either. And so Rami Ashur will serve for the match. Yeah, Palmer lost to Jonathan Power in the final of 2003. It's the one event in a Great career oh, that he has not shot. won. Rami Ashur fires around the angles, fires the Boston. What a phenomenal day he had. It's obvious David Palmer could do very little as he loses in three straight games and only 32 minutes. Rami Ashur, his first major title, 11-7, 11-3, 11-4. Congratulations to Rami Ashur in three straight games. I don't know if you ex what kind of game you expected tonight, but you just appeared to be making everything. It was a, as good a game, as perfect a game as well as Martin says you could possibly play. Was it perfect? Yeah, actually, um, I don't know, but maybe uh, I think I played well today. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's what I want to say, and uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe things just li li went li a little bit my way. It was uh, maybe I was a little bit tired from yesterday's match as well. And uh, I really, I really respect David as a as a big brother and a top player. He re <laughs> I really respect his, his game, and uh, I'm really happy to play with him today. I'm really glad that I won this tournament. That was, uh, was such a dream for me to win the Pace Canadian, such a big name. And uh, yeah, I really thank you all for being here as well. And uh, yeah, I want to thank my brother too. Yeah, he did a lot of. Uh, work with me, uh, taught me a lot, coaching me since the beginning of the tournament. So uh, thank you all and uh, see you next year. Yeah, well, you know. Where, where do you go? I mean, it may be too simple a question, but <coughs> at 19, you are this good so early. Uh, where did it come from? I don't know, you have to cross your hands first. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, as I said, like uh, two days ago, I'm just my personality. I, I like to rush things, so maybe I just went too fast with this thing. I just, I really, I really was, was, I was looking really for the, at the top ten players that they're really a big thing. I want to be, I want to be like them. I want to be something like a little bit special, you know. So I try to create my own game. I try to work a lot on myself. Well, you just yeah. heard it. You are very special, and we look forward to following your career. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.
Congratulations to our new champion, Rami Ashur. What a magnificent week for this 19-year-old squash wonder from Cairo. 19-year-old Rami Ashur shows a full range of shots, and not even the number two player in the world can find a crack in his armor. History has shown that Rami had all the talents to become the best player in the world and dominate everyone for many years. Unfortunately, injury forced him to cut short his amazing career. Thank you, Rami, for all the memories of the great squash you've brought us.